Hey everybody, this is So Heidi, and this tutorial is part of a four part series that goes through four different techniques for drawing fashion flats in Illustrator. This technique is drawing the outline of the garment and drawing the style line separately. So, as you can see, I started out with half of the garment drawn over here. The outline is one path, and then all the style lines are drawn separately. Everything's in different colors just to show you the way that the paths are created. Now what I did is I reflected everything on the center front axis, joined all those anchor points, and here's my completed garment. Again, the outline of the garment with all the style lines drawn independently. This is a great technique depending on your needs. Here's some of the pros and cons. If you just need to color your garment one solid color, then that works fine. However, if you want to put different colors or manage patterns independently within different portions of the garment, let's say in the sleeves you need the stripe to be going naturally and in the body you need it to be going naturally, which would not be the same direction, then this creates some limitations. You could, however, convert this to a live paint group. So we'll take this and select it and choose Object, Live Paint, Make, the challenge with that is that we've got some pattern brushes in here for the stitching and pattern brushes do not work with live paint groups. So if I say OK, it takes all the pattern brushes and converts them to just plain pass. Now I can come in and color my garment with different colors as I wanted to do, but I've lost all my pattern brushes. So just some of the pros and cons. This could work great for you depending on what your needs are, but go ahead and watch the other three tips to see if one of those techniques works better for you. Thanks for watching. This is So Heidi.